Hello and welcome to the Consultation Skills course. I'm Dr Alex and I work at the Christian Medical College in Vellore in South India. This course is for anyone working in clinical practice anywhere in the world, although some of the examples may come from what's going on here in India. The first question we must ask is, is there a problem with consultation skills? Do we need to improve them? In 2005, two economists studied conversations between healthcare providers and patients in Delhi. Researchers visited 205 care providers, all of whom were within a 10 minute walk of the community they were studying. They found that the average interview was 3.8 minutes long. The mean number of questions asked was only 3.2. More importantly, providers only asked 24% of essential questions they should have and only 11% of providers assessed a suicidal 17-year-old girl safely. We all need better consultation skills, whether we are new in this game or very experienced. So, what are the benefits of good consultation skills? First of all, patient satisfaction is greatly increased. If we listen and talk to our patients in a respectful way, the patients feel much better about the encounter. The accuracy of our assessment of the patient's problems also gets better. And if we discuss the treatment clearly with the patient and let them be involved in making the decisions, concordance with treatment is improved, which in turn leads to better health outcomes. Better communication also improves satisfaction for the doctor with the patient encounter, and there is also less litigation and medico-legal cases. If you are in private practice, Good consultation may also increase your income, as increased patient satisfaction will mean that people keep coming back to you and recommend you to their family and friends. More importantly, it is vital to remember that between a quarter and a third of patients seen in primary care in India come with a mental health problem. But two thirds of such patients in India present to the doctor with a physical complaint, such as headache, backache, dizziness, or weakness. If you see 60 patients a day, around 18 of them will have a mental health problem, but 12 of these will tell you they have a physical problem when you first talk to them. If you don't have good consultation skills, you will not be able to help them. Having good consultation skills helps you to provide better care to your patients. It's not just about being a nicer doctor. I hope through studying this course your consultation skills will improve and that you will see how much this will help your patients and also improve your satisfaction. But before we get into how to improve skills, we need to understand what happens in a consultation. So please go on to the next presentation. Thank you.